Welcome biologists. In this session we're going to take a look at gene therapy which is spec point H of manipulating genomes. Now there are two types of gene therapy you need to know about. Somatic cell gene therapy and germline cell gene therapy. First one is somatic and in this one what we need to know is that it affects body cells. So every cell it could impact on except for gametes. Now in this particular example we're looking at how we can use somatic gene therapy to help cure cystic fibrosis. Now cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder by which the individual will produce too much mucus and it's hard to clear all that mucus. Um, so as you can see here we have a virus and this virus is used as a vector. This virus will have inserted into it using genetic manipulation and genetic engineering the healthy gene uh, that these cells that line the lungs need. This individual will breathe in the virus and the virus works by inserting its genetic information into our genetic information. So what we'll have here is that the healthy gene will be inserted into the cells that line the lungs. So therefore, these lungs, lung cells are now healthy cells and they produce the normal uh, levels of mucus. So this person has a temporary cure for cystic fibrosis. However, there are some advantages and disadvantages here that we need to know about. First of all, is that it targets specific tissues in need of treatment, which is fantastic. In this particular case, we're just targeting the lungs. In other cases, you might be just targeting the pancreas or whatever particular tissue it is that you want to impact on. It will extend the lifespan of the individual because at this point, they're no longer impacted by cystic fibrosis on a temporary basis, so it will prolong their lifespan. However, disadvantages are that this is a repeated treatment. We do need to repeat this, and the cure is only temporary. And the reason for that is that these healthy cells here that contain that healthy gene will eventually die off and need to be replaced by new cells, and those new cells will contain the unhealthy gene. So in order for this process, in order for this individual's benefit more, they'd need this process to be repeated on a regular basis. The inserted gene here into these healthy cells cannot be passed on to any offspring. So it means that any offspring that this individual was to have would contain that genetic information for cystic fibrosis. There are some unknown side effects, especially to this virus here. The, we might have an immune response to the, the virus. And also, sometimes, using somatic gene cell therapy, it can be an invasive procedure. This particular example is not, but sometimes it can be. Now, the other example we need to know about is germline therapy. And in this one, what we have is we are targeting specific gametes. Now, um, what we can do here is we can target those gametes to, again, um, insert the healthy gene for a particular disease and get rid of the unhealthy gene. Now, this is uh, really beneficial for having a long-term cure because you're getting rid of the unhealthy gene and inserting the healthy gene here. Again, you could use an example like cystic fibrosis or Huntington's or something like that where it's a genetic disease. Um, the good thing about this is that the um, offspring would inherit that healthy gene and they'd have that long-term cure. However, you can't target a specific tissue here and there are massive ethical implications. And at the moment, um, we're not allowed to carry out this procedure um, because it could lead, lead into things like designer babies where people are uh, specifically asking for certain traits within their offspring, which is massive, massive ethical implications there. Um, so that's everything we need to know here about somatic and germline uh, cell therapy. Good luck with your exams and don't forget, don't use the words it, they, amount and size. Good luck.